break out my high lift jack, kind of use this to jack up the Jeep, kind of exercise it, make sure everything's working. I want this thing working when I need it. If it just sits there, sits around all the time, never gets used. Rust up, get jammed up. So, I'll use it to jack up the Jeep when I change oil. practice so you're kind of proficient at using this thing. It's a little tricky. Okay, here we go. up in the air. Get it up high enough to get my jack stand underneath the rocker. Get that pinch weld in the rocker. It should be high enough. I got these little rubber protectors to protect the pinch weld. Sure, I get it. On the pinch well. There we go. Okay, that dented up the fender in the Jeep a bit there. Right there, just a little ding. I'm trying to figure out what happened here. That's the thing about these uh, high lift jacks, they're not super stable. But I didn't have my finger underneath that pinch weld right then, between that pinch weld and the jack stand. That would have smarted, but alright, lesson learned. Okay, I'm looking this thing over again, and now these the wheels turned. It's like the steering wheel started turning, the wheels started turning when I was jacking it up, and that's what pulled that forward. So, for some reason, the steering wheel's not locked. I'm going to check this out, see what the heck's going on. Yeah, look at this thing. For some reason, the steering wheel is not locked. You can turn it. Everything's off. That is kind of weird. Maybe the steering wheel doesn't lock on these Trailhawks because you could tow them behind a uh, you could tow them behind an RV, and you don't want your steering wheel locked for that. Maybe these steering wheels don't lock on the Trailhawks because they have that neutral position in them, so you could flat tow them. I gotta look into that. Well, that's a hard lesson to learn. Damn it.